Hello YouTube. You know who it is. We're going to make a little carbon video today. We're going to kind of update you and we're right on the stick there. Let me show you the mess we've made on the floor. <clears throat> Real quick. I showed you this yesterday, and I want to point something interesting out about this. I said that uh, carving can take a long time. We've been working on this stick for about two years. Actually, this uh, this wasn't a stick. It was a log, and we've carved all that out of there in between the uh, snake. This is one piece, one piece of wood, piece of cedar, but I wanted to point that out. And uh, real quick, we've been working on the uh, carving on the stick there. We've made three passes up here and two on the bottom. We've got to go one more on the, uh, the bottom part. And uh, we're going to see where we're at with that. And then uh, we're going to be taking uh, the stock out of here in between the coils. But uh, we're going to show you in a minute. What we're, uh, how we're going to carve a little bit, and then uh, the next video we'll be removing some of the stock. It'll lighten it up quite a bit. As you know, it had a crack in it, which I'm not worried about at all, because uh, on the top part we're thinking about going with uh, this style right here. We're going to carve up here, try to put one of these in there. On this part, that'll lighten it up a great deal too. And on the bottom part, we need to lighten it up some. So we're thinking uh, we may go with this this as well on the bottom here. The uh, snakes are coiled around each other. We're going to see uh, what it looks like. I think that's a good idea. So uh, we don't know yet, but we're going to give it our best shot for sure. We're going to, uh, real quick, we're going to show you what we're up to here. We're going to take, uh, we were uh, using this uh, small chisel, flat chisel, when we first started. But we want something with a little bit more up to it, so we're going to go with this one. And uh, if you notice the chisel, it's flat on one side and beveled on one side. We want to put the beveled side out. We don't want it up against the snake. And we want to use this mallet. We don't want to take a chance. We did chip a little piece of wood off of that and we really don't want to do that. So uh, we're going to work our way around the rest of the way down on the snake here with this flat chisel until, uh, until we get to the bottom of it where the tail's at, where the rattle's at, and uh, we're not going to worry about the rattle until about, until later on. We don't want to take a chance on breaking anything off of that, but uh, you want to take that flat chisel and cut a groove. Cut that groove, okay, and then after you cut the groove in there, as you know, our favorite chisel, palm gouger, and chisel, whichever one, gouge. We want to come in here and we're going to gouge it out. When you cut that, uh, when you make that cut, it won't allow your chisel to go any further. It should. And uh, you have to be careful. I did stick the gouge in my finger. Um, I told you uh, the other last video that one big secret to carving anything is having a a really really sharp tool and what we want to do is uh, we want to come in here and dig this out and uh, that'll get get it uniform for us where you can see that the snake is taking more shape here the snake is starting to stick out more 
And uh, we're not worried about anatomy. We're not carving professionally. We're just carving. We want it to look like a snake. We're not worried about the anatomy of is it long enough and are the eyes going to be set? No, we're not worried about all that and how many buttons is on the tail. But uh, we just want it to... Uh, we want it to look like a snake and we want it to stick out like one and we do want to try to make it look as real as we can but again we're not worried about the anatomy but uh, it is lightening up quite a bit and we're happy with that for sure okay real quick as I showed you before, we're, we're working right along with the uh, the walking stick there. We want to say God bless to you, and as always, thanks for coming by the channel and watching the videos. Um, we hope you enjoy it, and we hope you kind of learn a little something. We'll update you as we go along. The next video that I make, we're going to be taking the stock out, and I think I showed you. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to be using the uh, gouging this out. We want to take it out. It'll give it more of a realistic look. So, uh, again, thanks for coming by and watching.